I'm traveling through Israel with a group of veterans, a lot of Marines, Air Force, Army. Um, I guess I should throw the Navy in there just in case. I am a Colonel in the Texas Army National Guard. Lieutenant Colonel, United States Marine Corps. Critical Care Air Transport Team. Gulf War veteran. An infantryman in the Army. A Lieutenant in the U.S. Navy. I think it's incredible that APAC is reaching out to veteran leaders to really kind of see firsthand, you know, what life is like in the state of Israel. You learn about the culture, the, the history, and most importantly, the, the people of Israel. Uh, deploying to Iraq twice, I've seen the Middle East from a very limited scope and only from one side. We're on a ridge in the south. To meet with the people and see how beautiful, you know, Israel truly is, gives you a completely different perspective of the Mideast. One of the coolest things for me about being here is everyone I meet throughout the country, I have a shared uh, commonality with them. Once you have found out that someone has served in some capacity or way, there is an instant brotherhood and sisterhood that forms. There's a lot of differences between the IDF and the American Armed Forces, but there's a lot of similarities too, especially in the, the shared experiences, the shared values. The people in Israel know exactly what they're fighting for because the issues and the causes that they fight for is right there at their gates. They're not only interested in the defense of their homeland and the defense of their system of values, but also the, the success of the soldiers when they return to civilian life. Had a great opportunity to meet the commander of all the uh, psychological, the mental health services for the Israeli army. Well, I think post-traumatic stress is, is catastrophic right now. I think it's uh, it's debilitating for a lot of veterans. From my experience in the, uh, in the Marine Corps, I've lost more Marines to suicide than I have uh, to combat. So the state of Israel's ability to handle post-traumatic stress is something that I think we need to make sure we reach out to and take a look at. It. The fact that their mental health officers are proactive in calling their soldiers consistently and engaging them and embedding with the units when they're deployed or in forward areas and then continuing to see them after they get out of service is extremely innovative and, and necessary. Ideally, what I would like to do is to see some of the models that Israel is doing and see how we can adapt that over here in the United States. There are two 9-11s that I will always remember. Uh, the original one, I was, I was on duty at the time, and, and this one. Let the world always remember that fateful day in September, and the ones who answered duty. We thought it would be important to do a remembrance, uh, at least something simple. Yeah, many of you uh, remember where you were. 846, 930. 9-11 forced the United States to come to the reality that we were, in fact, being targeted by terrorists. It is a global war on terror. It's just that Israel faces it every day. A strong U.S.-Israeli relationship is an imperative for maintaining the security of both countries. Israel is a, an important ally. Our, our interests are very much aligned and we need to always remember that. I think it's important that we maintain an extremely strong relationship to not only share uh, resources and ideas, but also ensure that, that we, we protect the, the way of life here. As an American as a, and as a veteran, it's my job to support those things that I believe in. I believe in the United States, I believe in our military, but having been on the ground, uh, I believe in the state of Israel. And I think that it's my job to take that belief and put it into words and put it into action. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the participants of the 2015 AIEF Veterans Leaders Mission to Israel.
In the military, we stand a lot. We stand guard, mostly we stand at attention, and when called upon, we stand ready for duty. Today, today we're honored to stand together with APAC in support of a strong U.S.-Israel relationship. The work that APAC does always ensures that we will each have our friends' backs. We want to extend our heartfelt thanks to each and every one of you for making the, these trips possible. The experiences we've had, the insights we've gained are invaluable. Lastly, we'd like to thank the people of Israel Thank you for opening your doors to us, sharing your knowledge, history, and experience. Thank you.